This is a typical model that I opened in the Katia Partisan workbench. This is its model tree. You'll find every command that is used in the to prepare this model in this model tree. All hidden, uh, non-hidden things, the uh, uh, reference elements are there in this model tree. You can access uh, different commands that are used to prepare this model uh, through this model tree as well. I mean, you can double click if you double click any more command. The definition dialog box for that command will be popped up. Now, uh, to control the visualizations, we use this toolbar, which is called View Toolbar. The first command that we are going to see here is the Fit All In. By this command, will be uh, the entire model will be fit inside the graphic space, and it will be brought it will be brought near the center of the graphic space, like this. This is mostly useful when uh, you have excessively zoom in or zoom out and you are uh, you are not able to find the model in the graphic space. So in in such in such a case you can uh, click on this button fit all in and the entire model will be brought near the center of the graphic space and it will it will be fit inside the graphic space graphic space. Second command is the pan command. You just need to uh, by this command you can move the model. First click on this button pan and then click on the uh, click on the click uh, the mouse button on the graphic space and then move, move your mouse you'll be able to move the model with the mouse to rotate the model click on this rotate button and then click on the graphic space and move your mouse the model will be ro rotated then the center of rotation is automatically taken now if you want to use only mouse buttons to control the, the visualization you can also do that for that purpose, like uh, for a pan command, you need to press and hold the middle wheel of or scrolling wheel of the mouse and then move the mouse for rotating the model. Again, press and hold the middle wheel and then right click, press and hold the right click of the mouse. Then move the mouse so that you will be able to rotate the model. Now, for zoom in and zoom out, Again, press the middle wheel of the mouse and only once uh, click on the right button of the mouse and then leave it. And now you can uh, move the mouse so that, or uh, or uh, means you can up and down drag the mouse to zoom in and zoom out. The zoom in and zoom out buttons are right there in the toolbar as well. Now the next thing is the quick view toolbar. This is actually an extended toolbar. I placed it over here. By this toolbar you can see the isometric view, the front view, the top view, the uh, side view, like that. Next thing is the uh, view mode toolbar. This is also an extended toolbar. This is uh, in this toolbar, we mostly use the view mode which is called shaded shading with edges. Right now, this is the shading with edges mode. Uh, in this mode, you can see the shading as well as the edges of different features that are used in the to prepare this model. If you only choose this shading option, you won't be able to see the edges and it is quite difficult to distinguish between different features used for used in the model. So it is always advisable to use shading with edges option. There is one more important option, uh, view mode, which is wireframe mode. By this mode, you can see the inside of the part. Uh, one more interesting command is the dynamic sectioning. By this command, a uh, cutting plane will uh, appear. You can position this cutting plane anywhere you want. Just uh, choose proper uh, proper element. To place it, like uh, you see, I have placed it over here. Now I can, if I uh, move my cursor over uh, near its center, I can simply position it, and the sectioning will automatically update it. By in this way, you can you can dynamically view the section of the model. Now to uh, there are some things, uh, some things which are used for to prepare this model are hidden, like uh, the sketch or the pad sketch, the profile sketch is hidden. If you want to view that sketch, 
you can click on this hide show button and then pick the element that is hidden see the the sketch is now visible if you want to again hide it just click again on that same button and then pick the element you can also pick the element from the graphics ui now everything we see is the visible space if you want to uh, move into in uh, the move into the space where there are invisible things we need to swap this space so this is the button for that swap visible space so now you are into the space where everything is uh, invisible right now you can see those things which were uh, invisible in the visible space you can move these things as well in the visible space by clicking on again on the visible uh, hide show button now suppose if i want to um, make this point visible into the visible space i will simply click on uh, hide show button and then pick this uh, point or the sketch when i will uh, now if i go back to the visible space by swapping i'll see this point i can again uh, send them back to the invisible space or uh, simply hide them by clicking on hide at show button and and then picking the element so uh, in this way we can control the visualization